Hey everybody, uh, this is my first YouTube video since moving out here to Los Angeles and I have a very special, special guest. This is Teresa Jordan, she's a very dear friend of mine. Um, I met Teresa through, actually when I used to work at FedEx, my old manager connected me with her through Facebook. She's like, you have to follow this woman because I was just going vegan and juicing and she's like a pioneer in this. So I was, uh, I was like very in inspired by all the stuff she was doing. She's a raw chef, so the juices she was making, the raw food, and I couldn't wait to get out here and finally connect and we've become really good friends. And uh, I just wanna share her journey because she has so much to share and so much inspiration. So we're gonna start out, but this is Teresa. Um, how long have you been vegan? Well, okay. I went from being a pescatarian, mm -hmm. I used to call myself a fishitarian, right into raw vegan so i i didn't go to vegetarian or vegan right I just you didn't make those transitions raw vegan. yeah but now i i still call myself a raw vegan because i eat predominantly raw mm -hmm. but i do eat vegan cooked once in a while because my husband's vegan cooked and i'm preparing but that's amazing all the time. that's amazing that her husband is vegan as well that's couple goals right there right it took a while. It took a while. Um, he just—he's been vegan. Oh, I think he's going on his fifth year now. So, um, and I've been raw vegan for many years. I—I I don't know the exact date when I started out raw, but um, it's been at least—I don't know, maybe 17 years, 18 years. Uh, Chef Ito is the one that there you go. inspired me to go raw. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, actually. I don't know who wouldn't want to go vegan if you were living in the same house with her because her her gourmet raw food is the best. No lie. I love it. I love it. So what started your journey? Well, you know what? It's interesting because I was just looking at this water bottle here and um, a holistic spa out in the desert that I used to go to in Desert Hot Springs is called We Care. And they give you this water bottle when you go out there to do their liquid fast. So I used to go out there quite often um, for many years now, at least over 20, 25 years I've been wow. going to We Care, yeah. And I met some really nice people out there that turned me on to some really good vegan restaurants because once you get out of there, your liquid fast, you want to eat clean and good. Right. So I started going to Alok because I was referred to that mm. restaurant. And, and back then it was there was just one Alok out in Fountain Valley in Orange County. And so um, I connected with Chef Ito. I went there almost every day and ate the one raw item they had back then called the Norito. Oh, That's wow. all they had that was raw. Was it like his, what, what was that? Oh, it it's was what you showed me, the, right? Yeah, the, the nori. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's in nori and then all these vegetables and really good sauce. Nice. And I kept going back every day. And then one day, Chef Ito, who doesn't speak, he wrote down on a piece of paper, you need to go raw vegan. And then he, and I, and I thought, okay. And he said, not 80%, you need to go 100% all raw. And I did. Myself and a couple of friends, we, we decided to try it together. And we instantly got, the, we got activated we started eating the food and... I like that word, activated. Yeah, we got, we got activated. It's, it happens. Yeah, totally. within days. I mean, within the first week, we were all excited. We kept calling each other on the phone. You know, what are you eating? How do you feel? Let's go here. Let's eat this. Let's meet up. Let's make this together. Yeah. So that's a good way to go raw. I would, that's what I was going to ask. Because, like, we were just talking about a lot of people ask us all the time, how do you go raw? What would you recommend people like? I would recommend the best way, if you can't get with some friends like I did, um, try and go on a five to seven day green juice fast. Because when you go on the green juice fast, especially the green juices, you're gonna rid your body, your body's gonna cleanse and detox, you're gonna rid your body of the cellular memory of meat, fish, chicken, and dairy. Mm. And then once you have that clean slate, you, then, then that's when you're gonna want to put the good raw living foods in your body. Totally, totally. Kick all those addictive 
chemicals that are in all the processed foods too because mm -hmm. that's how it happened for me as well it was I started juice cleansing and then like when you're on a 10-day cleanse or longer you know you you're craving like an apple right mm -hmm. you're not craving mm -hmm. like a cheeseburger or no. fries like you your taste buds reset mm -hmm. and you start gravitating and want like a nice hearty salad or like an apple or something like that yeah so so speaking of juicing how has juicing impacted your life is it a, oh, a big tool it's the best it's it huge is. huge yeah. myself and my husband yeah. gives us so much energy yeah it's it's just the best gift you can give yourself. It yeah. really is. You instantly feel the juice. Totally. I, and your juices are incredible too because she makes some special ones. Sometimes she has stuff that I've yes. never made. <laughs> no, you, you had made that juice. one. We had, we had this earlier. Yeah. There's not much left here, but wonderful. Yeah. But you made one with aloe and coconut at one time and mm. I was like, that was, it was so hydrating and mm. I had so much energy from it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you guys don't follow her on Instagram, raw or at raw Teresa, I'll write it here. Um, she every day is posting in her Insta stories juices that she's making, and they just look so appetizing. You just want to like go through the screen and start drinking them. But um, and she's always uh, doing her um, cartwheel challenges and her headstand. I mean, movement is a big part of her life. You want to talk about that as well like combining everything well, together it's a yeah, lifestyle yeah, right yeah because after you eat all this good food you have, and more drink energy. All this juice, you have all this energy yeah. you want to do something and you got to move your body yeah. I'm gonna be 62 in April and um, and I'm happy just to be healthy and and I can do cartwheels I can give piggyback rides I can do headstands I go to yoga I Long go to spinning hikes. I hike I love hiking yeah yeah, these, it, all these things come naturally to you, um, wanting to hike and be in nature. You want to be closer to nature when you're eating like this. It just, yeah. you want to turn the TV off. It's, it's really interesting. You want to disconnect from that, right? Yeah. That's what I always like to share is like you're eating foods connected to the earth, you become more connected. Mm -hmm. So you want to be outside, you want to be in nature, you right? You do, you do. We just went on a walk around John's neighborhood. And yeah. we, we were identifying every fruit tree and the wild edibles. You feel connected. Yeah, that was my first experience, just walking around, just picking food. And I mean, I may have done it before, but not like this. She's like, try this, try that. And it was, it was amazing, it was good. Now I know, uh, you know, I can just always just grab some stuff to juice, yeah. as long as, no. I'd have to knock on the neighbor's door and say, as long as the neighbor's <laughs> not looking. But, excellent. So how about one more thing, mental clarity. Oh, it's the best. Just with the raw and the juice. Yeah. Like, have you, Compared to before, like before, um, how your lifestyle was before, do you feel like it's like totally been like an awakening? Definitely. And for me, when I'm all raw and juicing, I just get very creative. My mm. creative flow comes out and I want to make things. Um, I like to sew, I like to paint. I start doing things around my house, changing things around, clearing yeah. things out. Yeah, totally. And that's in all of us. It's in all of us. I always talk about the videos I make with Noah. I would have never been doing that stuff six or seven years ago. That comes through me through the food. It's it's like I, I get sometimes I look at the videos. I'm like, how did I create that? Like that's so weird, you know. But it is. It's so you're so right. It's from the food. It just gives your it gives you all this mental clarity, and you become so much more conscious of everything around you mm -hmm. and the things that you really love, and your passions come out. And it's kind of like you kind of kick all that stuff that, you know, keeps us asleep, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you have any more uh, tips or advice for anybody trying to go vegan or, or trying to get on this journey? Because I know myself, it was difficult. I kind of have an extreme personality and mm -hmm. I kind of just close myself off to everybody. But you talked about trying to find friends. Or yeah, like find groups. friends, find, yeah, find groups, go to go online. You can get lots of information online and, and you know, watch YouTube's and all that, but also read books. You know, actually read the books and get get that information in that way also. Go to potlucks, um, when you hear about events happening, and then also take yourself to the vegan restaurants. You know, it, it doesn't have to be expensive, maybe just order one thing. Right. And, and you know, and get used to eating that way and just, yeah. I only had a I only had a couple books 
because I, I'm like a YouTube guy, I love going on YouTube and I get inspired and see recipes. Mm -hmm. Do you have any books that you recommend to people in particular? Well, I mean, my books are all old. Mm -hmm. um, well, not all of them are old. A lot of them are recipe books, even though I don't follow recipes. I right. like reading the books. I like seeing the pictures. Yeah, yeah, that's um, me. I like Mimi, Mimi Kirk's books. Karen Calabrese has a good mm -hmm. book. Soak Your Nuts. Yeah. Um, Giuliano Brockman, his his book is actually called Raw. That was a really good book that I have. Matthew Kinney, um, Matthew Kinney and Sarma did one together. It's called Raw, Raw Real World, Raw Food Real World. I think that's the name of it. That was one of my favorite books. Mm. Uh, wow, I haven't read my books in a long time. Yeah. But, uh, do you want to talk about a book that you are? Well, okay. My husband and I are writing, we're in the process of writing. We have been in the process of writing a book for years now. But it's a good book. And um, my husband, his name is Lonnie Jordan. And he's from the group War, W-A-R. So the rock and roll, R&B, Latin jazz band from the 70s. And um, as you know, I'm raw. So raw and war are the same word love it. backwards. I love it. I love it. It's going to be epic. And their book's going to be incredible because I know some of their stories, like a little taste of their stories, but. Yeah, we have lots of stories to tell. Great stories. It's, so. it's, in fact, the name of our book is going to be Raw and War Stories. I love it. We're going to talk about raw food. We're going to talk about the group war, his journey, my journey. Um, I'll have some food stories and pictures and all kinds of good things in there. It's, it's going to be an interesting book. It's perfect. I love it. I'm excited for it. So thank you. And Lonnie's a great guy too. And you guys, you guys have to know who War is. If you don't, you're probably like 20 or younger. But uh, yeah, why can't we be friends? Low Rider. I mean, they have. Tons of hits. Check them out if you don't know them already. Teresa, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, John. It's always a pleasure hanging with you. I'm glad I could share thank you. you with everybody out there. Thank you. And uh, like I said, I'll leave her um, Instagram and do, anywhere else they could find you. Well, I'm on Facebook too. I'm not as active on Facebook as I am on Instagram. Yeah. I love Instagram. Instagram is great. Yeah, I have fun on there. Cool. You see me doing headstands. Carpenters. Yeah, for sure. And and I'm sure you guys, some of you guys that have seen me on Instagram, I'm, I tag her a lot because she inspires me. So Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys got a little something from that. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.